Hi, my name is Devaker Kinra, and I'm endodontic faculty at CDOCS. And my tip of the day has to do with radiographic assessment. So many times I get a case in the middle of treatment where the doctor said, well, it was calcified and I didn't realize that, or it was harder than I thought it was gonna be, and I didn't realize that before starting treatment. So my suggestion to you is that you understand that when you're doing the SOAP format, you have the subjective, the objective, the assessment, and the plan of action. Well, during the objective, one of the things that you need to discuss is the radiographic assessment. So I like to take a 30 second review of the radiograph, and this is what I look for in that review. So after taking the radiograph, I wanna make sure that I got the right angulation. And that angulation means a couple things. One, that I have taken the angulation of the radiograph correctly. So if I think it's foreshortened, I wanna make sure that it's straight on. And most times I'll take possibly three radiographs, uh, straight on, a, a shift radiograph, and a bite wing. That gives me a lot more information to determine what's going on in the case. But also I wanna know the angulation of the tooth. Is it uh, you know, measly inclined, distally inclined, buckly inclined? I wanna know that in the radiograph. Next, I wanna take a look at the pulp chamber. Is it wide? Is it small? Is it receded? Does it have a pulp stone in it? I wanna know that before getting into the actual tooth. What about the entry angle? Well, entry angle means how am I gonna enter into the canal space? Is it gonna be easy to get into, difficult to get into? Is it blocked? Is it calcified? And that leads me to the next one, C, which is the canals. How many canals can I see? Um, are they wide, narrow, short, long, curved? calcified. These are things I want to know beforehand. If you think the case is calcified beforehand, maybe you shouldn't start the case to begin with if you don't feel comfortable getting through that calcifications. And remember, calcifications start coronally and work their way down apically. So they're going to be calcified at the top, not at the bottom. Um, and am I going to be able to get straight line access? Uh, if you can get straight line access, you're going to be in great shape because it's going to make for a much safer experience. So APEX, that's what that stands for. It's for looking for all of those things in the radiograph before getting started. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.